All right, hello everybody. This is uh, we're finally gonna t take a look at Kano and uh, his pressure tools. So I've been really busy, haven't really gotten around to this yet, but here we are, and I'm just gonna go over some stuff with you. I'm just gonna go over. I'm not gonna go too in depth. I'm gonna go over like the basic, uh, you know, fundamentals and just things to utilize as far as pressure goes. I'm not gonna go over combos or uh anti-airs or anything like that right now i'm just gonna go over pressure so some good strings for pressure his two forward four is really good because it, it uh covers a lot of distance and knocks them down gives a hard knockdown they can't tech roll or anything so it gives you time to just sprint in you can go low or you could uh run up and then command grab if you think they're gonna wake up blocking low and then of course you could also run up then neutral jump punch and then do a combo. So yeah, just think that that's just a couple setups off of two forward four. So off of that, just make sure to sprint. You have the back uh, three one string for the low starter, and then uh, you have the uh, cancel sprint into neutral jump punch like that. Oops. Well, I whiffed that, but cancel the neutral jump punch. That one you're not going to catch as many people with probably, but regardless um then you also of course have your dash up command grab you can i wouldn't recommend enhancing command grabs unless you want the armor the damage increase is not great so don't really do it so now that i'm on the topic of command grabs let's just go over what command grabs he has and just a couple setups for them all right so let's go so he has down then back then forward four which is circle on PlayStation and B on Xbox, which will look like this. It's the rib strikes. So that's, if you look at the bottom left, you'll see my inputs down, back, forward, uh, four. And then you can like roll your thumb if you want. It's a little harder to do, but like you have to in certain situations. I don't know if you can see that I'm rolling it now instead of, like you can see the diagonal inputs, but that's, that's besides the point, so. Uh, now we have his down, then forward, then back four, which is just the opposite of the other one, which will look like this. My personal favorite. I love that throw. And if you enhance it, he jumps higher into the air, which looks freaking awesome. So yeah. Um, so that's those are both of his command grabs. He has his choke, but it's a high hit. So it's not unblockable. It's not a throw. It's just like a hit confirm into like an animation. Which is still useful for combo enders and stuff, but uh, it's not unblockable or anything, so there's really no setups for it. Let's see. Um, I'm going to set her to always block. And then, because Kano has a really good tick throw. Oops, do I have her reversal on or something? Off. Alright. So, he has a, like, this is his jumping four. It's a really good move. Like, if you go for it. You can land and then go for a command grab, like, if you time it. Let's, so let me put her on reversal mode. Random. And I'll jump in. And you see that? I stuffed her reversal. I have her set to reversal, so I'll show you an example. See, she reverses as soon as I hit her. But then I just, if you jump in and they're blocking, if they block your four, oop, well, <laughs> I mean... There's, a, there's an example of getting out of it with a really good armor move. She just x-rayed me. But you get the idea. Most people, unless you do it to them a bunch, will fall for this a few times. Like you see, she tried to throw, and I just counter through her. So it doesn't really work as well with his, uh, his uh, three. His four is better because the range on it and everything is just a lot better. And then as soon as Kano lands. So like do the command grab right when your foot hits them. And then when Kano lands, he'll grab. And then if you think they're going to, like, low poke or something, which might beat you out, you could always just armor it. Like that. So, there's one example of a setup for it. Let me take her off of block all. I'll set her to auto block. Another setup for it is canceling. There's a few strings you can cancel into regular knife toss and that'll leave you at the perfect command grab range. So, for instance... Two into knife toss leaves you at perfect range for command grab. So like, as soon as they are able to block, you'll command grab and they'll be in range. So if they're not holding up or back dashing, then uh, you'll get the command throw. So like, 
yeah, that's an example. Then you have his 3-2 string, cancel into knife toss, will uh, do the same thing. It'll leave them at the perfect range for a command grab. So if you hit them, they'll be like, oh, I'm going to hold block, boom, command grab. Or you could, uh, um, like if you land a down four, you could, you could cancel into sprint and then command grab, which is, you have to be really fast on this one because you have to like do the uh, technique I told you about where you hit down, then drag your thumb to back, then forward. You have to like rotate. Ooh, there we go. For this one, otherwise they'll be able to reverse in time. Um, in the corner, this one will be good. The, uh, down four in the command grab. Ooh. Because they'll lead, they won't back away from you, so. Yeah, just an example. And now we have his, I'm going to go over his 3-2 string, which is super cheap. Because it leaves you at like 51 hit advantage. So if you like punish with it, oh wait, let's see, combat boots. Yeah, 51 uh, hit advantage. Which means, like, I have her set to auto block, so she's just holding block. If your opponent holds block, that's literally how long it takes them to be able to block. I mean, you can't combo off of it but they can't poke out of it. So you could literally just like do this and they'll be forced to block. That was close. So if you if they refuse to block, they'll just like just keep getting hit by that. They they can't poke out of this if you just spam it. They're forced to block it. Let's say someone likes to reverse throw a lot. You could do uh, that and then cancel into counter. So like you just got to pay attention to what your opponent does. So like I said, here I'll show you an example of what it looks like if they don't block. So that she has no blocks mode on. So if someone doesn't block, this is what it looks like. It almost looks like a combo, but it's not. If you look at the top. So like after two reps or so, people will probably start holding block. In which case, once you see them block it, you could low poke like that because it leaves you safe. I'll show you. See, block advantage is zero, which means you're safe, which means you're both on even playing field. So let's say block mode auto. I land this. I can, oh, well, I got beat by the throw, but, yeah, let's see if, uh, see, she, like, I just stu stuffed out her, uh, reversal throw with a low poke, and don't, don't hesitate, if they're not blockers, to just do this, it's like a, it's like, it might as well be, like, a 100% combo, if they don't like blocking, because, like I said, they can't poke out of it, they literally just have to block, it's kind of like, uh, Johnny Cage's nut punch, where they're, for they have to block, otherwise they'll get hit. They can't do hit and attack, but they're allowed to block. The only thing they're allowed to do while they're stunned by this is block. That's it. So utilize his 3-2 a lot. And then, he, of course, he has his 3-2 into grab, which is one of my favorite moves he has. But you'll usually want to just cancel into this unless it's a combo. If you want to end the combo with the grab, it's fine. But, like, here, I'll show you an example. Let's say I land a neutral jump. 3-2, 3-2, grab. Because you can't keep it going other than that. So, like, if you have them grounded and stun them with it like that, just keep doing 3-2 or cancel into low poke or something like that. You're not going to want to do the grab because that will take away some of your pressure. So, but, uh, so we went over his 3-2 string. Now he has his back 1, which is super cheap as well. Kano's strings are, like, his best uh, aspect. He's, his strings are so good. His back 1, look at this. Look how fast this is and how fast it recovers. You can just, like, if someone doesn't block a lot, you can just, like, kill them with this, I bet you. I wouldn't really recommend just mashing it like that. It's a very good move, but it's not unbeatable. So you'll want to, like, do, like, two reps of it and cancel into a low. Or just, like, do two reps of it and the people will be like, this is cheap. I can't, I can't poke out of that. Then command grab. So you could, like, jump in. X, A, back X, back X. So some, uh... Just some basic pressure with Kano real quick. I'll show you an example um, with Commando Kano, that is. Um, let's say you j land a jump and punch. You'll want to, like, 3-2, unless you want the full damage combo. If you'd rather, like, it depends on the situation. I wouldn't necessarily say use the meter for the, the combo each time because it's only, like, 32% for one meter. And you need your meter for combo breakers and armor and stuff on your command throws. But anyways... Um, let's, let's say you land a jump in. This would be the full combo. Well, I messed it up, but... And then cancel it into command throw. Remember what I showed you earlier? I am down, forward, back, B. It won't leave you in range for that one because it's got slightly less range. Like, for instance... 
well, it moved me forward each time, but like if I do that one, see how it whiffs, and then this time I do this one and it pulls them in and I grab them. So just keep that in mind, the power slam doesn't have as far of range, so just keep that in mind if you're like max range and you want to punish with something. So anyways, that was an example of like the full combo. An example of the pressure would be to jump in 3-2 and then just keep going if they don't block. But if they do block, you can uh, like cancel into a low poke to try beating out their reversal. A lot of people, let's say you're playing online, a lot of people will uppercut. So a really good option is to just counter after they block a 3-2. So yeah, but you're not going to want to rely on counters too much because if you get too predictable with them, it's really going to hurt you. I screwed it up, but... Like that. That was like a, just a quick example of like basic Kano pressure. Like you, you're going to want to cancel into lows and use your safe strings to your advantage. I want to go over his enhanced knife toss because it leaves you at plus 9 on block. Which means you have advantage on block, which means if she blocks it, I have time to, uh, let's see, reversal mode... I don't know, on, oops, stand, I'll just have, leave her on throw, so like, let's say I get 3-2, cancel it into that, I can beat out her reversal throw with a throw of my own, with a command throw of my own, so, let's say I have 3 meters, or 2 meters, and I don't think I'll need a breaker or something, I can cancel into enhanced knife toss on block and then can't and then do a command throw. And since I'm at plus nine, like anything she does will tech like quote unquote be nine frames slower than normal. Or of course I could go for like another AY and I'll beat her out. So you could always just if you want to go for a command throw you can. But uh, I'd recommend going for like like I mean command throw is always a good option because it's a lot of damage guaranteed. But if you let's say you land a, that again, if you don't cancel into the command like the grab at the end, you can just keep your pressure going again, like that. You see how she keeps trying to reverse out of my attacks. I just like you just gotta mix it up. I think that's pretty much everything. You're gonna like I'll just do a quick recap over the basics just for you to like, you know, practice and on your own and whatnot. You have a pretty you should have a pretty good idea of what's going on. Uh, off. Okay, so down four, sprint into like a low or command grab is really good. Um, canceling this on block into a down, well not canceling it, but going into a down three on block of uh, three two is good because it leaves them right next to you so you can stand up and throw. Or of course stand up and command throw since you're commando Kano. Um, just things to keep in mind I know it's a lot of information and it's probably a really long video and you're probably mindless like mind-numbingly bored but just uh, re-watch certain aspects of the video if you want to like you know get better and learn uh, and like just practice and you'll get a lot better don't worry I mean I'm not sure if I went over everything or not I'm new to this and I should have made out a plan but I wanted to get this out tonight because I've been really busy so I just kind of, I just kind of went through off the top of my head, so I apologize if you didn't like this video, but it's my first time doing like a guide, and uh, I tried my best, and if you, if you feel like I missed out on something, just be sure to let me know, and I'll look back into it. That right there is an example of a full combo reset into command grab. If you look at her health bar, it's a big chunk gone. So yeah, I'm just going to end it now before the video gets any longer. I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, like I said, comment, let me know if I missed anything, or if you have any questions outside of this, and uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you in my next one.